What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And this is going to be episode 21 and to kick off where we left off, uh, we've pretty much been pushing our way through the Caribbean, taking more colonial holdings and right now we are developing our plans for further expansion. So I want this army here at Curacao to replenish and to go support this army, Julian Sayez, that's attacking the... Uh, South American coast all on his own and that's quite a lot of enemy forces here actually. So next turn, come what may, these guys are going to have to push, although I suspect we will probably be intercepted. And then we've also got uh, Mr. Briso, he's moving up to the border here, ready to push on the Pueblo Nations next turn to secure a land link to our trading partner Mexico and I may even, not Mexico, New Spain. Ah, oh, too bad. So people might be able to get an alliance. But I think the problem is, is that Spain is under... Well, we're at war with France, and that's probably put us in negative with Spain. God. Yeah. Surprisingly, Aust Austria hasn't taken uh, Madrid yet. But yeah, let's focus on our own territories. And then, then the next turn, this army will be ready to march out to go and take the war to the Huron. So let's put a sloop ready to transfer to transfer the navy. We may as well upgrade this. We've got so much money. This guy, you're going to be... I'm not going to try and do too much at once. Um, I want this guy to be ready. Can I recruit any more cool units? Nope. Got all of our grenadiers. We need the next army board to get access to... Is that the army board? We should start, we should, even though it says we can't, we should start to get things like uh, fusiliers and grenadier guards and so on. Although I find it odd that we... Oh, okay. Okay, so I really want to start to stretch the variety out here, because right now we're starting to uh, run into limits. What I may do is actually get rid of these, or at the very least swap these militia over. The very elite militia. But I'd rather have more line infantry. Good stuff. And we're also building up our navy here in Plymouth. Or like an absolute top tier navy. But let's check our research. Wealth of nations in one turn, which is great. But let's head in turn. Don't worry about that British priest, because he's so bad at his job he doesn't manage to convert anyone. Yep, so we're going to be intercepted. So let's time for a defensive battle against a whole bunch of chaff. All we have to do is survive. Literally like uh, Tropic Thunder. Survive! And then we will be... then we'll be away. Yeah, soon we will have consolidated all of the Americas and it will be time to push on to Europe. Let's put a bunch of guns up here behind our line. Let's build up our battle line. I don't mind my Coeur de Bois are in there. There's a lot of firepower. We're only fighting militia as well, so that's not a... We're not as bothered about making sure we maximise our firepower through canister shots. Let's get our general back. Instead of our, all of our artillery, fire at will. And they are aiming correctly at the Swiss line, or the Hessian line. So they're waiting on their reinforcements to come in. And we're about to see a whole column of militia come in here. Just... <laughs> it's like the Urukai coming in. There you go. Never-ending swarm of militiamen. But yeah, we're okay to let them, let their line reorganise. Because the sooner they push in, the sooner they die. And I'm happy to let my artillery just pound at them from a distance. But yeah, it's a lot of militia. Oh, he managed to kill... Well, it wasn't there. Oh, God. I, th I thought that was my guy. Mine's Philippe Sayez. God, we've gunned down 
one of the general's bodyguards. Yep, so their, their conventional force, the force that was intercepting us, has been knocked back purely from long-range artillery fire. So let's angle this line a bit better. I could chase them down, but I'm not bothered. I think we're going to be doing sufficient damage to them through knocking these guys back. But let's pick new targets. And I'm also... I'm also okay with using round shot for my howitzers in an attempt to try and get them to uh, rank up their experience a bit faster. So let's run... I don't have, to run about, don't have to worry about running my cavalry. Let's just run my infantry up. Yeah, right now it looks like it's going to be a bit of an artillery fest, but it's going to change on this flank, though. There we go. It's got my grenadiers are in range. They're going to go hit the 3rd Regiment of foot. Ah, oh, they're broken. They're also broken, and this remaining infantry unit here is going to take position in the ruins. Yeah, artillery's come in. Yeah, this is the thing. We're fighting lots of militia, and you want to go, oh no, that's a lot of men. Got to watch out for them. You really don't, not when it's militia. Charge my cuirassiers in to the militia to chop them up. Let's get my light infantry on. Try and hit the light, the, uh, the Hessian line. Let's be honest, because they are falling back so efficiently, let's just push our line up. Yeah, I mean the militia's gone as well. Probably better off just being outside actually contributing to the uh, the overrunning it's happening again fellas the charge of the Louisiana cavalry that cannot be stopped hey these bone logs do did they get behind us oh no we charged in we ran through them I suppose Pick new artillery targets. That'd be perfect, but just pick a target. So send my light cavalry down to chase. Send my light cavalry to go chase down enemy cavalry. My cuirassiers can just sit here and engage whomever they like. Charged on the bowmen, because I hate bowmen so very, very much. And I will run them around to hit the Hessian line. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Hessian line are formed square, but they're also about to. Uh, they're also all about to be in range to be shot at by my infantry, so I don't care about that. Let's go kill this regiment of militia, because these guys are going to escape. And my general. You can also get into the mix. Kill this bowman. More men are coming in from the from the reinforcements. Let's 
you hit the 22nd regiment. As many, many, many men come in to reinforce. Are those even grenadiers? No, they're Hessian line. Bombarding. I mean, damn, probably even try and go for uh, targets right at the back. <laughs> My cavalry's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, ignore them now. You've, you've killed those men down to 34 men. Just charge into the mass now. I'll start to get all my infantry, all my artillery to engage the... Uh, engage the following up. Following infantry. So you guys and you guys... Everyone push up. Okay, you instead fall back and just smash into these militia units that are routing. Or ignore the militia. General, you also start to intercept. No, run past. Run past the. Uh, actually, these are only Bowman Auxiliary. Yeah, get them. I mean, that's a pretty poor position there, behind the hill. I can say I was about to try and pivot to get some melee shots off, but. Damn right we're going to continue. This is a slaughter. Okay, let's just stop shooting. God damn, this is going to be a... Oh, they're going to escape. So everyone, you get after the militia. This is absolute chaos. No, oh, they've gone. Those men are about to escape, so it's everyone versus the native Bowman Auxiliary. And they are gone. Yep, so they've just completely folded and retreated en masse. Look at that. For nearly 4,000 men. And we lose 300. So they go back. The garrison goes back. They've taken up a new position in Paramaribo. And that's exactly what we wanted. We've decimated one of their forces. Our force remains relatively intact and able to be resupport able to be supported by bringing in the army from Curacao. Which will be pretty perfect. And lovely, thankfully, the Ottoman then turns have decided to uh, play ball. It's like the it looks like the French are actually pushing through Central Europe, so they're going to be mighty sore when they lose Paris. Because I would like to deploy two armies to take Paris. One to be... One to stay in the city, and then one to march out and intercept uh, rebel forces. And also the French, obviously. We do want to kill as many Frenchmen as we can. I have a bit of 
coffee now. Because I've got this video to finish. I've got one more episode to record after this for the Knights of St. John. And then that's all my videos recorded before I have to go home. I'll then spend some of today and then all of tomorrow just rendering videos. Actually, tomorrow's probably enough. How many videos have we got to render? There we go. Now we're back in action. Yeah. Got to keep an eye on the Cherokee. Eventually they'll get too big for their boots because they are now completely encompassed by our territory. Wealth of nations, which is a lovely technology to have because it means we earn so much more cash. You may as well continue down this route for now. New fur exchanges and new ports have been built. Okay, so let's move on. The Pueblo nations don't call in allies. Georgia has joined them. But Georgia is a... I mean... They have a port, they have a shipyard, but we'll have good visibility on them. Actually, do you have a sizable navy sat there? Not sizable enough. And are they at war with Austria? No. I was hoping they would be. So if they were, then then they would be stuck in the stuck in the stuck in the Mediterranean, and they wouldn't be able to leave. Still, it just means we keep growing our forces. So we've got first rate. Two first, three seconds, two thirds. Let's put another third. Another two thirds, I think. Yeah, I've got a sloop of Hudson Bay, because now this army here is ready to move out. They will rebel, and they will complain, but they will not... No, they'll strike, then they'll complain. No, they'll strike, and then they'll uh, break something. And then they'll be ready to rock and roll. Ah, expert purser. Oh, minus one morale. Minus four percent upkeep. The upkeep's pretty good, because he's in my big fleet. Agent executed. Ah, oh, they found him. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. We're moving in to uh, take revenge for the murder of our man. Okay, let's go back down to here. Reinforce this army. Now these guys are ready. We can take some of these fifths out. We can take Philippe. Embark them onto the ships. Take the fifth down to the port. Disembark the army. And this army is ready to push on Paramaribo. Siege them for now. I just want to do a bit more management. I will fight that battle. I just want to make sure I do some other things first. So let's repair those fifths. Let's take. Let's take you guys back to Otto Banda. Yeah, we do have lots of native troops here. Seek musketeers. Yeah, everyone's being re rebuilt as much as they can. Spend some money upgrading ports, and these are a very expensive upgrade. But fortunately, we are Louisiana, and we have plenty of cash. Okay, can get rid of this militia unit. Oh no, that's embarking it. Uh, you disband. Probably get away with disbanding one of these militia units as well. Do you must probably get rid of disbanding them both? Yep, down to zero. But that's okay. They're going to lose 10 resistance to foreign occupation over the turns, which is good. So, so Julien, your you're in position. Philippe Abouf. Let's push on Paramaribo. So you always like to have one army in front taking the damage and then another army behind ready to kind of leapfrog it the next turn. 
because they should be in a bit of a better position. Should be. If they've lost a lot of men, then that doesn't count quite as much. Um, but, as always, if it doesn't count, just ignore it. If it doesn't prove your point, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so let's plonk some artillery back here, just to lob shots. We're going to deploy a long line, because we are going to push up, and they are having reinforcements. So I'm going to bring some artillery with me. I'm going to scout with my light cavalry to try to find bowmen. And my general's behind the line. We got lots of mounted tribal auxiliary, which isn't a concern. Let's sprint our cavalry in to deal with this in order to not disrupt our planning. Two tribal auxiliary over here. That's a bit dodgy for one unit to take over. Okay, you take them over instead. So they fired a bunch of muskets into the into the combat to try and help their friends out, and actually they've caused them more problems than they're uh, solved. They've actually managed to meet one of them route. You're going totally the wrong way. But that's okay. Should be able to deal with this threat before our lines advance. Let's actually pick up our men and do something more like this so I can get my guns a bit further up. Lots of gunshots into the combat. Let's go intercept the tribal auxiliary. These guys are broken, they're shattered, so they're not coming back, that's fine. Please pick artillery to make sure we keep engaging the tribal auxiliary we're not in combat with. There we go. Keep engaging. Keep this combat ahead of our infantry line, which is slowly but surely moving up. Cavalry fall back. Infantry line run. Because they're getting to push up. Split the cavalry off to the flanks. Now it's time for our infantry to earn their to earn their wage. Massive superiority on the left. Come on, I'm trying to spread it so they don't overlap their fire too much. I 
Here we go. And battle has been joined. Here come the reinforcements. <laughs> Such as they are. So the 24th is very upset. So I want to push on the left, really. Let's focus the artillery to engage the 24th. What I want is to re rebalance this line up to here. That's what I want. I want them to fall back. And then do something like this. Okay, let's pivot. These three, like so get them into the open ground where I can exploit my cavalry advantage. Let's throw my cavalry into the mix already. Let's retarget my guns. You probably engage the right flank. You guys engage the centre. Whoa, okay. Something like this. These guys can then extend the corner there. Cavalry get involved. Don't worry, fellas. Your mighty reinforcements are here. <laughs> so I charge them into here um, because we were going to go for the the routing troops, but they're so close to the border they're going to rout anyway. So I may as well charge them into some pretty weak morale infantry instead. So artillery back here is in position. Deploy our cavalry into the militia. Kill enough of these guys to make sure they are out. Then probably pull back. This regiment of Hessian line is going to be incredibly unhappy with its state of affairs. Yeah. Well, that's what the... This, uh this game is really positioning charge straight onto the native musketman auxiliary suddenly these men can be back here again as we drive on we organise these guys to support the right, but now that's no longer necessary. Soon the 15th is going to die. Um, they can't... So experiencing volley, uh, fire by rank is a very... It's a very negative... It has a very negative uh, morale penalty. Like every volley, it's a big morale drop compared to gradually losing it. So if there's going to be a massive drop of morale firing on the flank, you know, you know, if head on they're already suffering from poor morale, then from the flank they're going to fold. They're going to fold super easily. Well, this is it. Well, that was funky. You guys push on to the 37th. Again, we are attacking a town, so I'm not as bothered about mowing them down. But look at them. It's just a rout. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Just can't. These guys are done for. Like the border's so close here, there's, I'm not that bothered about making sure they die. They're all going to be firing into the flank of the 13th. I'm pretty sure that's all of them now. Yeah, go on. Let's just continue just to let these guys fire by rank into them. If they ever get the uh, time. But yeah, I'm not bothered about efficiencies of killing them down. Efficiencies of running them down, I should say. Not killing them down. I think I've got more cavalry I could deploy, but meh. Realistically, it's just going to be this unit that we can actually destroy anyway. So let's just keep spamming that attack ban to keep resetting the... Uh, well, not resetting, but... Changing the attack logic. Decisive victory, that's right. See, this is the victories that are achievable against poor quality armies when you've got good infantry and fire by rank. For Territory is ours. Let's replenish. Let's fix what we've got. Let's upgrade the gold mine. It's a low yield gold mine and low yield sugar plantation, but... Yes, my lord. These are good investments to have. This is an excellent position to be in, ready to crack the final nut down here at Cayenne. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. I should I'm pretty sure it's the right... It's. I'm pretty sure it's time to end the episode, I will check. But, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Or if this isn't the end of the episode, then I'll see you in a minute. Cheers everyone.